all over the world and we left evidence. Okay? We're not just regurgitating some shit. After that. I'm meeting Professor Jin Li, one of China's leading geneticists. Recently, he led a project that set out to prove that the Chinese evolved independently from everyone else, from Homo erectus, here in China. Before the project started, I was hoping that I could identify or could be able to find the evidence that support independent origin of Chinese in China. He singled out a male genetic marker, which only appeared about 80,000 years ago in Africa. So any man who carries that marker must have recent African ancestors and can't be descended from the more ancient Asian Homo erectus. Jin took DNA from over 160 ethnic groups around East Asia. Over 12,000 samples. And so what did you find? We did not see any even one single individual that could be considered as the descendant of the Homo erectus in China. Rather, everybody was a descendant of our ancestors from Africa. Rather, everybody was a descendant of our ancestors from Africa. The result couldn't have been any clearer. But how did that make you feel? As a Chinese person, after I saw the evidences that we generate in my laboratory, I think we should all be happy with that because, after all, modern humans from different parts of, part of the world are not so different from each other, and we are very close relatives. It's great, thank you. So Africa is the home of the Chinese. Jin Li's research confirms that their ancestors too were part of that tiny group that left the continent around 70,000 years ago. And genetics is also helping us understand how people spread through Asia. Our ancestors reached Siberia very early on, but there was another even earlier migration route, spreading along the coast of Southern Asia and eventually reaching China. When you look at the deities, which is Buddha, Buddha, he got wood hair. He don't have straight hair. Okay? That lets you know who the original man in Asia was. Alright? You look at the deities. The deity of Tim. That they were the ruling clan. You see that brother? You got to see that black corner here? That's the same here right here. I ain't do. I need to. Who steps? The original Indians were woolly hair. From Indonesia, Indonesia, next. From Cambodia, Cambodia, next. From Vietnam, to Vietnam. These are the black people of Southeast Asia, who have been there for thousands of years. Qui vivent depuis des milliers d'années. Black people are the original people of the planet Earth. Les Noirs sont le peuple original. And they are the first people to enter Asia. Sur la Terre. Et ce sont les premiers à être entrés en Asie. Next. <coughs> A whole group of them. Tout un groupe d'entre eux. From Central Vietnam. From the Philippines. Des Philippines. These are the original people. Ce sont les indigènes des Philippines. Next. Look at this brother right here. Regarde ce frère. He even has a knife. Il a même il a un couteau. He must be from the South Central Philippines. Il vient de 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 South Central, enfin de de Philippines du Sud Central. That's a joke, brother. <laughs> Next slide. Look at this. these are from the Philippines. The Philippines. Look at these images. Now, if I didn't tell you where they were from. Si je ne vous avais pas dit d'où ils venaient, je ne pense que personne n'aurait pu me dire qu'ils venaient de Guadeloupe. Vous auriez dit qu'ils viennent de Guadeloupe. 
The countries around the Indian Ocean are dotted with remote tribes who look very different to everyone else. Could they shed any light on the first colonizers? To investigate, I'm on my way to Malaysia. The Samang tribes are believed to be the most ancient people in Malaysia. And they do look different from other Malaysians. And a small group of people hanging on to a traditional life. Could they be a relic of that first migration east from Africa? Now, this is a selection of typical Malaysian faces. And you can see these people are quite light-skinned, quite East Asian looking in their appearance. And this is a Samang man. And the Samang are completely different looking. They live in Malaysia, but they don't look like the rest of the population at all. They're much darker skinned. Some people have even gone as far as to say that they look African in appearance. And I just wonder whether their appearance is telling us something about their ancient ancestry. Stephen's research tells us that the ancestors of the Samang were probably amongst the first modern humans to come through here. And not only that, the genetics suggests that that vanguard moved surprisingly rapidly, getting all the way from Africa to Malaysia in the space of just a few thousand years. There are other tribes thought to have ancient roots as well. Together, they are like distant echoes of that first migration, a journey that began in Africa, continued through India, and round the coast to Malaysia. May I help you? We'll be asking the questions, old man. Who are you? You. No, not me, you. Yes, I am you. Just answer the damn questions. Who are you? I have told you. Are you deaf? No, you is blind. I'm not blind, you blind. That is what I just said. You just said what? I did not say what. I said you. That's what I'm asking you. And you is answering. Shut up. You. Yes. Not you, him. What's your name? Me. Yes, you. I am me. He's me. And I'm you.